What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we have 63 sacreds to pull today i don't know if i'm gonna pull all of them it just depends on how the flow goes definitely want to pull 60 though because i like my numbers even um so we are end game free to play and you're gonna ask me real deal how have you got 63 sacreds without spending well you get about 20 sacreds every six weeks and I've just not, the last couple of two times have just been trash. Um, I've heard content creators say that you should pull only during 10 times. Bullshit. Um, with Sacred, you only want to pull during your 2Xs. Um, I have done it in and out of 10X, and 10X is painful. Even the 25X, um, yeah, it is really, really painful. So it's actually, it makes more sense just to try your luck and get more champions by pulling with Sacred. Uh, with Voids, I would definitely go for 10x, and same with Ancients, but with Sacreds, 2x only. And before we start pulling, I want to have a look at the um, Champion Training Tournament, see what's up for grabs when it loads. Uh, so first of all, we've got an Eternal Soulstone. These are trash. Uh, I think they've been in the game now probably about a year, two years now. And I've probably had about 20 of these. Polarium are very, very tight with giving these away. And I've pulled nothing but trash with them. They are basically pointless. There's no value to them at all, really. Um, yeah, awful. Uh, then we've got two legendary books. Nice. Five-star chicken. It's okay. Don't need them anymore. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then if we look at first place, there is a Teox. Perfect soul up for grabs. It says perfect soul. That is five star. Polarium six star would be a perfect soul. This is imperfect. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, and again, this is kind of pointless because if you don't have Teox, we might get him today, I'm hoping. But if we don't pull him, this is just going to sit and just take up space in the vault. Crash. Um, mythical, um, mythical, relentless, can't complain. That's baller. And then Shyek, some extra fragments. That would be tasty. So 60 uh, Sacreds. Let's see how we get on, boys. And yeah, and I definitely want to get um, Teox. He actually looks like, I would say, if not one of the best, he's the best um, faction uh, champions. He just looks insane. Like the stuff he can do. Um, it's kind of funny, though, because Lizard Men used to be one of the worst factions in the game. And now they've actually, like, after a while, they are, well, they're way, way better now than what they used to be. They've got some solid um, champions in there now, especially with, like, Pythion. Pythion, absolute beast. Legendary number two, Mashal. Wow. I do not have this guy on the account. Um, he is insane. So for me, like, I'm at a point in the game now where all I need is Hydra and Arena champions. Mashul is great for Hydra, does insane damage, he does some healing, um, and he's also just constantly boosting turn meter as well. So that is a very, very nice champion to pull. Absolute boss! Sick. Back-to-back -back legendary. Jag Bonesaw. So I've never really seen anyone use this guy. I mean, he looks pretty cool. I, I'm digging his look. Um, and I do think... Let me just check. I'm pretty sure I've got some souls from him as well. Only four star, four star, but four star is better than no star. That's pretty decent. And the good thing about four star is you get that crit damage as well, which is always good. Um, there's not that many epics that I'm really after. You know, it's always nice to get some dupes because now we can empower. Um, Cauldron the Blue would be a good one. Zagala is not bad. Don't really use her that often. Uh, use her in Cursed City, though. She can smack Maeve. She's all right. But yeah, need some plus fours. There are definitely some um, champions that would definitely help with the plus four. Uh, Lich, pretty trash. Um, I think people, there was a trick that people were using for Bommel, but that was literally it. Sinatia, big fan. 
Um, used to use a, she was my original Arena Nuka, AoE on the A1, slaps. Kilian, new, not too sure about him. And has the game crashed? There we go, legendary. Oh, Gofred, no, Joffred, Joffred, another, a dupe, a dupe copy of Joffred. Joffred is actually a sick champion for Arena. Um, he has like, where is it? Is it his, is his passive? So basically, if someone like basically, if you're you use him like using a defensive team, and if your nuker is squishy, um, he protects them from a fatal hit and puts block damage on them, and also then throws out a stun. He is so good defensively. Um, but yeah, dwarfs that will help with the factions. Would oh, what is going on? Back to back, back to back legendaries. That's what I'm talking about. So in 10 shards, we've pulled like four legendaries. Crazy. This is what I was talking about. This is why you pull in 2X. None of that 10X BS. It's all about the 2X. Royal Huntsman. Um, he is, he's not great, to be honest. Um, I did see a video actually a long time saying that he's a good counter Rotos, but that was way, way back in the day. Like he's still obviously a counter Rotos, but... Um, yeah, he's like just single target, so he's kind of obsolete, but I reckon you could have a lot of fun with him. He definitely smacks. Annex, oh, I don't know, I've never used him. Oh, Venomage. Venomage is a beast. Um, so good in against Amos in Cursey, definitely were. Ulmer Gaelic, my most hated champion. As I like to call him, the ultimate garlic bread. Oh, just awful, awful champion. Just He just needs a slight tweak and he could actually be good. And I don't know why a player won't do that. We've got the toe. Um, oh, she's pretty sexy. <laughs> Interesting haircut. Um, she's pretty new. Um, I've not seen her. So, mm, yeah, she looks like she could be pretty solid. Just, just a quick glance. She's all right. But yeah, we're not here for the epics. Fanex, great champion. Slaps on his A1. Actually, probably one of the hardest A1 epic hitting abilities in the game. Um, has an, if they've, yeah, and he can just basically block revive. Uh, it's a double hitter if there's debuffs on the enemy as well. Um, people use him in Ice Golem and some people use him in Arena as well. But in Arena, I feel like you need really good support around him um, for him to really shine. Another ultimate Gaelic. Legendary. Ooh, oh, do you know, it looked like someone new. Rule the Huntmaster. Wow. Um, yeah, personally, I've not really used him. He's meant to really hit hard if you've got Hex out. And now you've got Mithrala in the game. Definitely ups his ability. Meant to be pretty decent in Hydra, but not really. Oh, again with the back-to-back. -back. Have you guys seen the luck? This is unreal. I mean, to be fair, we're not really pulling anyone that I want, but still can't complain. Cauldron the blue, nice. Um, definitely need to up him up for Fire Knight. Get, make him a bit more consistent for runs. Achak, decent for Spider. Um, throws out HP burns and then freezes. Tashan, never used him. I think he's too ugly to use, to be honest. Just hideous beast. Oh, never used you either. Come on, we just want good champions only. Fenshin, never used either. I think he's a multi hitter, so possibly usable for Finite. Some weird bird man. I mean, sometimes players get so right with how champions should look, and sometimes they just get so wrong. Fang, trash. Okay, so we're sort of halfway there now. And I think we've pulled about six champions. So six legendaries. That is like really beating the odds. Yeah, so much for getting... Uh, what's his name again? To Toma? Toex? So this, this new guy, what's his name? Let's just double check. Teox. Teox. Okay, down to 30. But yeah, like we are just popping off today. Not every day you see this. Oh, 
Like honestly, guys, I think this is the most amount of legendaries I've ever pulled. Like in a in a row, in a go. Like this is a good run, run, run. Oh, some more trash. Come on. Okay, twenty five to go. So just over halfway. Another trash epic. Come on, show me the gold. Oathbound. He's okay. Like nothing to nothing to sing about. Quite funny, like looking at epics these days and how they've really like been power crept and nowhere near as sort of good as what they used to be. Vildrax, um, pretty awful, I think, to be honest. Just throws out hex and not much else. Way, way better options. Bavos, never used him. I think it's for a fusion. Come on, down to 20. Can we just get something good, please? Jingle Hunter. Uh, <laughs> he's a funny one. He is a funny one. Oh, God. Ulfrig. I hate this guy. He's just so generic. Come on. Where is the gold? I feel like we're going to get a back to back again. Damn. Oh, come on. Where is the gold at? Oh, Burangini. Burangiri. So, yeah, I used this guy for Bommel um, way back in the day. And obviously, I've got a proper team for it now, blowing that shizzle up. But uh, Burangiri, he can solo. He's pretty solid, to be fair. Come on. Uh, another Burangari. Down to 10. I, I'm sure we've hit Mercy by now. Cut. Where is the gold? Seriously. There we go. Oh. Karuga. Um, so this is a dupe for me. I'm not using him. He's got ally protection, strengthen, which is great. Strong. Can do a little bit of time in your field, but. I just feel, for me, there wasn't really any way that I could use him in the game. So he, he's basically just sitting in my vault. Back to back again. Another Goffred. Joffred. Wow. This is straight. I don't, is this happening to anyone else? Is, uh, is something broken at headquarters? <laughs> what is going on with the back to back? I mean, eight champions out of 60. I'll take it. That's not bad. Oh, no. Yeah, was it? Yeah. Not bad at all. Eight out of 60. Not bad. Would you? But yeah, double, double go, go for it. Joff, go Fred, Joffred, Joffred. But um, yeah, I, I would love to empower him, but I will, you know, it's build up your faction guardians first and then, then go for the empowering. Um, but yeah, I guess it will help my Trundra a little bit. Um, she could always be a little bit stronger for Hydra. Um, but yeah. Come on. I don't want to see no more epics. We only want the gold. Tyrell, absolute OG boss. Still use him today. Um, use him in a lot of content. He is really useful with that drop defense. Ambassador, I think that's new. Um, don't think I'm going to use him though. Um, all right, so we've gone full ham, 63, and blood feather. I mean, let's see. Well, first of all, I want to see how many points did we get? Because I feel like a whale right now. This is what it's like to be on the other side of it. Okay, so we hit at least 10k, 17. Nice. I mean, the only thing I do care about is it means that I can skip some events for um, the pack master. But we didn't get Teox. So now I feel bad because someone's going to miss out on getting that perfect soul. And it's not fair. Someone else should be getting that. I don't need it. Like, what I do think they should do would have been way, way better. And I think they should introduce this for um, for Awakening. That There's another game that I play. And what they do is they do like a universal one. So a universal perfect soul would be, would be perfect. Um, and literally... You could use it on any champion you wanted to. That 
would be such a way, way better system and way fairer to me. Um, it is ridiculous. Like, we'll have a look at my account, how long it takes to six star um, champions. It's just insane. Like, Hepfrak was luck. Um, Dang Nang was luck. Elagias. Um, so, Leores is the only champion that I think I've actually... He's the o one champion I've maxed um, from, like, I think he was on three star to six star. The rest have either been pools. Uh, Wukong was an event, so you could get five stars from that. And then, obviously, I just sort of finished him off. Mithrala I bought up. Tormund was a tournament. Ulma Death Knight they gave us. And Harima was also a tournament. And the same with Armaz. So you can see how tight they are. And it's not on. Um, it's actually a joke if you look at it. Like, to think one, since release, I've managed to get one champion to six star. It's pretty disgusting, to be honest. But anyway, I don't want to be negative. I want to end this video on a high. Let's come down to the new six stars. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sweet. And I think the first one I'm going to do is Mashal, then Jag Bonesaw, because I've got the Awakening for him. And looking forward to actually playing with him, because he doesn't get a lot of limelight. And then even the Royal Huntsman, I would give a go, and the rest are just going to get a skip. And I oh, actually, we didn't pull Bivald. He was from a different video. So actually, we pulled eight. But yeah, pretty happy with it. It's just not what I need. I need more Hydra champions, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the videos, and I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace!